Welcome to Figure Feedback. My name is Jeremy, and this morning I woke up to an unexpected package from Flash Forge, just sitting right there at my door. I didn't know what was in it, but I opened it up, and this is the upgraded spool holders and an upgraded nozzle for the 85X. I had no idea that this was coming to me because no one told me that, you know, here's the tracking number or anything like that. So I'm not sure if this is um, a part of Flash Forge just sending these out to everyone who has the first wave of 85X printers or if they just sent this to me because I'm the YouTuber guy. I have absolutely no idea, but I wanted to show you up close what these uh, looked like. So uh, first, here's the nozzle right here. So let's just open this up. See, that's the packaging that it comes in. And let's just pop this bad boy out. See what we got in here. So this, for some reason, has a couple of screws inside of this box. So here's like one screw and there's a second one in there. But this is a look at the old nozzle here. Looks still very similar to the first one that already comes on the printer. And then they also have this uh, instruction manual here that uh, tells you how to replace the nozzle assembly. I did a video about that to show you exactly what you have to do, but just kind of looking at this now, just to see if there's anything different here. Here it says, remove the cover, remove the silicone sock, release the heat sink and nozzle clip, remove the nozzle. But then at number five, it says, remove the two screws and the heat sink and then install new screws in new heat sink. That is different. Hey, Jeremy of the future here, and I just wanna show you a little bit up close the differences between the old heat sink and the new heat sink, and the old nozzle and the new nozzle. So first, this is the old nozzle. Just imagine if this was a nice shiny copper color, and then this is the new nozzle. You see it has this new little piece right here. I'm not too sure what that is supposed to do, but that is new on the upgraded nozzle. This is the old heat sink right here. And the new heat sink is also a little bit different. Probably can't tell too much, but it has a different hinge at the very least. And I don't want to take that off because it was kind of a annoying to put this on, mostly because that second screw, the one that's like right there, it was a little bit fiddly to get on because uh, the other part of the heat sink is kind of blocking it a little bit. So that was a little bit annoying. But uh, once you get the new heat sink on, you don't have to worry about taking it off again. And you can just put the nozzle on there just as easily as you could with the very first version. But that is the difference between the old and the new. But anyway, let's just keep on moving. In this box here are the upgraded nozzle or the upgraded spool holders. So let's just take one out and get a look at it here. There we go. So this is definitely a lot more fancy than the ones that came on it originally. And these look very, very similar to the spool holders that's on the Bamboo Lab A or the Bamboo Lab AMS Lite. That's what it looks like, especially this design here, like kind of like these little somewhat curved at the top arches looks just like it. This part here is going to connect to the printer, just kind of slide it down into this slot. And then it's kind of like spring loaded, does this here. Oops, almost dropped. Well, I did drop it, but put in spring loaded. And um, let me uh, just go grab some spools and see uh, some random spools and see how they hold up on this. All right, so let's try out some different spools first. Here is just one of these small, like 200 gram uh, spools here. So these are the, like the tiny ones. Let's see how this fits on here, if it even fits on here. Uh, let's just see. Oh, look at that. Nice firm grip on this. Very nice firm grip. All right, so this slides on there pretty good and there's a lot more space left over. All right, so we'll just slide that off. Here is a spool of some regular cardboard uh, eSun filament. So let's just see if we can slide this on. Again, all the way to the end. Nice firm fit, nothing is falling off. 
all right? Taking it off, it might be something else altogether. Uh, there we go, just push it in from the uh, outside. Good stuff. And then lastly, a regular plastic spool, kind of like this typical black plastic spool, got a wider diameter than the other spools that I have. And so here, as you can see, it's not going on there super securely. Look at that. You see how wide that is? So if this were attached to the printer and then I put this on like this, I mean, I would still have a little bit of a concern of this kind of like sliding off. This is, um, I forget what, who makes this, but it might be like jail or something like this, but I do have this little adapter piece. Let me grab that and see how that works. I printed this out a while ago because just like with the AMS lights, some spools don't fit on the spool holders and have a tendency to slide off. So go on make a world or someplace similar, and you'll be able to print out adapters with wider diameters that you can just kind of put into these spools and it's got this raised lip right here to prevent the spool from going over the edge so if i just had to take this and put that in like that if there is a risk of this falling off i can take this and just put that on like that and now it will not fall off of the spool all right, and then when you're done, you can just take this right off again, just kind of from the outside, push that in, take this off, and then the adapter comes off. So yeah, if you got some wider diameter spools with this just to be on the safe side, then you probably need to print yourself out an adapter to kind of accommodate for this. Um, because like I said, on this end, those little red clips that prevent filament from falling off, that is not a thing anymore. So this will just go down like this and this part is just completely open. But yeah, that's just the look at the uh, new spool holders and uh, new nozzle for the AD5X. But that's going to do it for now. Um, hopefully Flash Forge will be getting these out to everybody uh, soon. So that's it. Until next time, take care of yourselves. I'll speak to you soon. And check out the 85X playlist for all my videos about this particular printer and what it can do.